Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of Coding with Sado. Today we're gonna connect to FinHub to get the information about stock market, uh, the stock prices for a specific symbol. So let's get started. We're gonna request for a free API key. We're gonna send all this information here. Uh, so we added all the information there. Let's do sign up and we have our API key. So let's copy that. And let's go to our code. So npm init y. Let's do npm install a.n. Let's do npm install finhub. They have their own wrapper. So let's do .n file here. Let's do API key here. Let's go to index consumers file and let's get started. Let's do goals if require dot then the config. Let's do goals we have you have to require we have. Let's do a sync function here. Get Symbol price and let's send this here in symbol. Let's do a try catch. There. And let me have a solution that will call our function there. Uh, actually, this is gonna be. It has a callback, so it's gonna be just a synchronous function. So, get more price, and we're gonna send Apple. So, we're gonna do a cost API key equals to our. We have. We have the. Dot API client dot instance dot authentications API key. So basically, we're creating a it's like a document a structure for the object of API key. We're gonna override the API key here. To use our process dot then dot uh, API key, and then let's do cause spin how clients you can have the default API, and now that we have everything, let's do fin hub. Client of quotes symbol, and here we have the error, the data, and the response. And the callback basically is gonna be let's do like a console model of data. Okay, let's clear this out. Let's do node index.js. And we have the code that is zero 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 because the market is closed. Okay, so as the market is closed, it's not gonna send us the specific information right now. Oh, actually, that's wrong. Uh, it's actually a uh, Apple. We will have the response. That was a bit wrong. Wait, so here we have the stock price for Apple. Um, if we were this for different things, for example, MSFT, MSFT, we have the price for Microsoft, etc. So yeah, this is a pretty simple way for you to access the market price using Finha. If you have any comments, just let me know. Any other recommendation? I will test another, a couple other uh, API services that they do. 
similar things like for example ex cloud and uh, other for currency prices i don't say for currency for uh, yeah money shares currency etc for different countries um so yeah uh, thank you for watching subscribe like everything and see you in the next episode bye bye